Future Trunks is one of the most popular character and one of the most important character in the history of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super is in a way trying to redefine him. Well, it is not something that is going to affect the plot that much, but it is surely something that is bothering the fans. We know Trunks as someone with purple hair from Dragon Ball Z, and then on Super, they changed it to blue. That's a bit unsettling, but I was quite okay with it. But I was expecting some kind of explanation, which could be as simple as he dyed his hair or their hair color changes as they become older. But overriding the canon and implying he always had blue hair was really a bad move. In episode 52, we got the blue haired version of the Android Saga flashback where future Gohan was killed. They reanimated it and gave him blue hair, so we just have to pretend that all that time in Z, he had blue hair. It's not that much of a big deal, I'm not losing my sleep over it or hating BBS for it, but such a noticeable contradictory change from a major character like him obviously annoys me. Dragon Ball Z is a huge franchise and we all expect a bit more maturity from them. However, let's put all that aside and move on. But in this video, I'm going to highlight three things Dragon Ball Super needs to do with Trunks. First of all, buff him and refresh him a bit. He needs to get rid of that post-disaster look. He needs to get back that muscular form. He lived in a tough world. There weren't even enough foods and obviously he didn't get much opportunity to train either. Thus he looks way weaker and skinnier than before. The last time we saw him in Z, he was muscular as fuck but as he is settling in this timeline and since he will have to fight soon, it is better if he starts training. Many fans would love to see Trunks training alongside Gohan but that isn't happening anytime soon as you saw. The reunion didn't quite go that way, but we still have things to be excited about. Because episode 54 title confirms that Vegeta will offer to train Trunks. I have my hopes high that he will go through some intense training and get his muscular form back. Vegeta will really push him hard, especially provided he was trolling him for running away from the future just when he arrived. Secondly. Future Trunks should get a new transformation or a fusion. Among all these god transformations, SSG2 is truly useless and won't in any way be able to impact battles. It doesn't make any sense at all. Now what type of transformation should he get? Obviously the option of Super Saiyan God transformation pops out but I don't think they would do that. I think God form is something they would like to keep exclusive. To Goku and Vegeta. So it would be interesting if Trunks comes up with something new like Mystic Gohan. For that reason, it would be cool if Trunks and Gohan end up training at some point. I still have my hopes high for Gohan and believe he will return sooner or later. That brings in the fusion scenario. Since the power gap is way too much, a fusion between Gohan and Trunks could as well turn out to be the only way to catch up with them. Many fans mentioned what if Kid Trunks and Future Trunks fused. I don't think that would be cool. Besides, Kid Trunks has fusion promises with Goten. Now coming to the third point, Future Trunks must have a major role in taking down Goku Black and there should be at least some moments where he gets the upper hand on Black. Black literally took away everything Trunks ever had. Black killed Bulma and Mai right in front of them. Obviously, Future Trunks is the biggest victim of this Black chaos. He can't even sleep properly. Now, I'm not saying he must be the one to end it all, but he surely deserves to take some form of revenge against Black and I believe DBS will play that part up properly. Well, basically, these are the things we want from future trunks in Dragon Ball Super. What do you think about it? Bless 